Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you guys how to create a quiz for logged in users using Quiz and Survey Master. And we are using InstaWP to set up our WordPress environment. And this service allows you to launch a WordPress installation in under one minute. So check it out, InstaWP.io. So we just need to go to our QSM dashboard. So on the left, uh, click QSM and click dashboard. And we want to create a new quiz. So click create new quiz or survey. And right now we have to choose a theme, but let's just use our default theme. So click next. And let's give our quiz a name. Let's call this sample quiz. For our form type, let's keep it as quiz. And for our grading system, let's select points. We can keep our time limit at zero. And for this part, require user login, let's select yes. Click next. Okay, so this is our add-ons page, but we don't need any add-ons today. So let's um, just select create quiz. So this is where we can add our questions and answers. Um, we see that we can also select our question types. So these are our question types. We can also select answers types, uh, but we'll keep it as text answers. So let's type our first question. Where was the coronavirus first detected? So let's add our first answer, China. And we just need to click add new answer to add another answer box. Colombia, add new answer. France, Italy. China is correct, so we will type 10 points. If somebody gets it right, they get 10 points. And we are typing zero for the other questions, but if we just leave it blank, it does the same thing. So just click save question. All right, now we just need to add a new question. So at the bottom, click create new question. And let's add our second question. Um, what are the three colors in the American national, national flag? So um, let's provide our answers for this question. And I will be speeding this up, but basically we're just entering our questions and providing the answers for them. So once we've added all of our questions, we just want to move to the contact tab. So click contact. And this is where we add our contact form to the beginning of our quiz. So click add new field. And for the field type, keep it as small open answer for label. Let's type in name. Click the used for section. From the drop down, select name. And let's make it required. So check required. Now let's add a new field. Click add new field on the bottom. Okay, so for our field type, let's keep, let's make it email, check email. And for the label type email, used for click this, select email, make it required. Now let's scroll back to the top and click save contact fields. Now let's configure our text option. So click text. And we see here that we have a message that is displayed before our quiz. And we can always customize it by using the allowed variables over here on the right hand side of our page. And if we scroll down a bit, we see that we have some more options that we can customize such as buttons, validation messages and others. But today we will need to customize any of this. So let's just go back down and click save changes. And if we go to our options tab, we see that we have some more options that we can also customize. But the only thing that we might need is our progress bar. So just click 
yes next to show progress bar. And if we look on the bottom, we see that we can also change our mind about requiring a user login. So we'll just leave it as yes. And let's go back down to save our changes since we don't need to configure any more options. So we just need to go to our emails tab, click emails. And here we can configure the emails that a user receives after completing our quiz. So over here on the right, we see that we have some fields. Um, we see that we have this user underscore email variable and we have our email subject and email content. So basically what this means is our email will be sent to any user who enters their email address before uh, beginning the form uh, to this subject at the bottom here. And of course, the variable will be replaced with the name of the quiz. And also, if we take a look at the bottom, we see that we have a questions and answers variable. So basically, um, any user who takes the quiz will be shown the questions they answered as well as the answers. And if we take a look on the left hand side, this is our condition section. So this email will be sent by default. But if we click add additional condition, we see that we can also set conditions for this email. So the email will only be sent if it satisfies the conditions that we set. So we can actually change the settings for our conditions according to our specifications. But today we don't need to set any conditions. So let us go to the results pages tab. So this is where we configure what our user sees when they complete our quiz. So if we take a look on the right hand side, we see that we have a default results page. Uh, and the text says, thanks for submitting your response. You can edit this message on the results pages tab. So let us delete this. Let's just highlight this and remove it and add our own text. So we'll keep everything else, but we'll just add one line of text. Um, let's say um, you are a genius and we'll keep our placeholders at the bottom the same. Um, but for this one, let us configure a condition. So let's go over to the condition section on the left hand side and add a condition. So let's change this to total points earned and make it is greater than or equal to let's say about 30 since we have three questions let's make it 30 marks or 30 points so once we have added this value we can go ahead and save our results page so let's move on to our style tab click style so this is where we can customize the look of our quizzes or surveys so if we click custom css this is where we can add some additional custom code to change the style of our quizzes or surveys. So right click CSS and QSM open in a new tab. We see that this is a guide that shows us how to style our forms, quizzes or surveys using CSS. All right, so we have configured our quiz. So right now we just want to preview it. So click the icon that looks like the computer screen. Click this. So now we're going to take our quiz and we are going to fill out our contact form. Remember we configured a contact section and this is it right here, the name and email field. So we are just going to fill this out and then take our quiz. All right. So we have submitted our quiz and we see this results page. This is basically what we configured. So it says, thank you for submitting your response. You are a genius. So if we go back to our results page, we see that uh, this message was delivered. And this means that our condition was satisfied. Our total points earned was greater than or equal to 30. So this was displayed as a result. So if everything looks good, everything works properly, we just need to publish our quiz. Now let's test our quiz as a user that is not logged in. So copy and paste the quiz URL into a new incognito window. All right, so we have received a message that says this quiz is for logged in users only, and we can enter our email address and password as well as a username. So we can either use a username or email address and password. So let me just log in. And we see that we now have access to our quiz. So we have created a quiz for logged in users using QSM. 